Good news, my five subscribers. I've got the first prototype of the DT project up and running. Well, up and floating. I had to cut the legs off to reduce drag, but DT looks way more intimidating as a flying legless torso of pure awesomeness. Plus, I've equipped it with some big old Digistruck claws that destroyed all the target dummies I built in the backyard, and it, it accidentally got the stray cat that hopped in the line of fire, but that was her bad. So I'm making some serious progress, long story short. Ran into some hiccups, though. I mean, I haven't figured out a cool way to quickly Digistruct DT into existence. I built a big spawning rod for it, but it's just, you know, it's big. It's inelegant, it's ugly, it's a tube of metal. You gotta carry it around, and I can't figure out how to lift it. Hey, honey. Dad! I'm echo casting! Oh, gosh, sorry, I just saw you working out here in the shed and thought you could use some hot cocoa. I don't need cocoa, Dad. I am a woman of science and ask hickory, not children's beverages. <laughs> Whatever you say, sweetheart, I'll just leave it here. Damn it, that's really good. Oh, oh, yeah, that reminds me. Marcy and I got paired up for a group project during Professor Parker's unipolitics class. We're supposed to debate whether the Hyperion occupation of Pandora was justified or not. I figured, rich little daddy's girl that she is, she'd be all for it. But no, she never even heard of Pandora. She didn't know about Handsome Jack, about Iridium, about vaults, for gosh sake. We are living in the most awesomely awesome time period in history, and Marcy's more interested in reading about celebrity gossip than the fact that Hyperion may have found another vault. Oh, and she somehow found out about my DT project and reported it to the school board, saying something about, like, I don't know, how a mobile, laser-equipped robot might be dangerous or something. Whatever, I hate her.